Hello, my name's Ken and I play a musical saw. So um, I thought it might be handy if I uh, give a few tips on how to get started. It doesn't necessarily cost much. Um, this is the one I started with. It's, uh, it's not a musical saw, it's an ordinary saw. It's a Stanley uh, 22 inch saw which I bought from B&Q. Cost about £12. Uh, you have to be fairly careful with it because it is a real saw. It has real teeth and they are extremely sharp. It's 22 inches long and it is made of fairly thick metal. Uh, you can buy other makes of saws um, from about £7 upwards, but I would advise you to buy the 22 inch one, which seems to be about as big as you can get in the DIY shop these days. Um, so that's the saw. Um, the other thing you need is a, a violin bow to play it with. This is a Hildesheim, um, just a cheap Hildesheim violin bow which costs £17 from a music shop. You can get them cheaper on the internet, probably £12 to £14. Um, so the, the first thing you need to do is uh, tighten the nut to uh, put some tension on the hair. And the other thing you need is some rosin. I use um, all weather base rosin. That costs £4, £4.50. And uh, when you buy this stuff, it comes in a block and it is, um, usually has a thick skin on the top. I would recommend, uh, for playing a saw at least, uh, rub the top of the rosin with some sandpaper, which will roughen it and make it uh, turn white and powdery which means it will come off onto the violin bow a lot easier and you need loads of rosin on the bow because um, it's the rosin which causes the uh, friction between the bow and the saw uh, which in turn makes the saw vibrate or sing so you need plenty of rosin on especially on a brand new bow you need loads um, to play the saw um, First of all, you clasp it between your knees like so, I used to put the handle like that. And you have to put your thumb on the top and your fingers underneath the tip. And you need to bend the tip upwards and you bend the rest of the saw downwards. So the saw is in like a, an S shape. If you simply uh, bend the saw down, nothing, you get nothing. If you, you need to put that tension on the tip of the saw and bend it slightly upwards. Not a great deal of pressure. Um, and then it will play notes. Now the, the, uh, the lower notes are nearer the middle of the saw and you don't need to bend the saw very much. Now, the other thing I mentioned is um, you get the vibrato by uh, wobbling your right leg which makes the saw wobble like that. and causes the note to vibrate. But you don't need to worry about that at first, just concentrate on playing the notes. So the bass notes are down here. Higher notes are at the top of the saw. So you've got to bow it in the right place because if you bend it down to play a high note and you bow it in the middle, again you get nothing. You've got to find the, uh, the correct place to bow it. Uh, so start off um, just by playing simple scales. You get used to where the position of the notes and how much you need to bend the saw, and then you can start playing. Uh, simple tunes, uh, nursery rhymes and such like. Um, after a few weeks you should be able to play something on it. Um, so uh, when you get more proficient there, uh, it's nice to use backing tracks. Uh, I've got one here, uh, one that I really like, uh, Wonderful World. It uh, makes the saw a lot more fun to play. And as you can hear, this will sound as good as a musical saw.
as you get better, you can progress on to buying a musical saw. Um, the diff big difference is that a musical saw, um, I have to have one here, um, it's much longer, longer than the um, Stanley saw, and it's also um, much more flexible. This is a 30 inch one, it's much more flexible, it has a much uh, larger range of notes, so you can play more complicated tunes on it. But uh, certainly you can start off with an ordinary saw from a hardware shop and it will do all that you need to start off with before you uh, invest in something like this which costs about £60. So um, I hope this has inspired uh, one or two people to maybe start off try and try and play one because it is a, it's a fairly interesting thing to do and I enjoy it. Thank you for watching.